Okay, ladies and men, Dick here again. Getting ready to mount the X and Y axis DROs on the mini mill. As you can see we've unbolted her from the bench. Got to be careful because this thing's terribly top heavy. It weighs about 120 pounds. You don't want to drop that on your toe for cripe's sake. That would not be a pleasant experience at all. All right, we <clears throat> what we did is we we unbolted her and turned her sideways here, and we cranked the table all the way over to the right so we got room here on the left to figure out where we're going to put the, the uh, y-axis. We'll show you that here. Right down here we got about a five and a half six inch travel there so we got a six inch DRO to put on. We're going to mount that baby right right about in here. Okay. Right about like so. And this is the slider, slide back and forth, and, and we'll tack the slider down to the bed, to the table there, so it'll roll back and forth in the bed, like with the bed. That'll be our measurement. Sorry about that, folks. My battery ran out, so I charged it up a little bit here. I've got some more to go, but I wanted to take a look at this setup to mount that, mount that DRO gauge. I've got. I've got this long, elongated kind of funny looking thing there. That's a drill tap. <clears throat> I've drilled the hole in there for the right side of the, of the measure. And now I'm tapping it for a 1032 screw. And I got the tap in there so it's straight. You can see that. You don't, you don't use something like that. You're liable, probably just as liable when you're inexperienced like me to bust the damn tap off, then you really got problems. So this this way, it keeps the tap straight while you're screwing it in, and that's a pure muscle job, the way I'm doing it. So I put it about halfway through there, and I decided I'm going to pause a little bit. So I got the battery out of the battery charger, put it on here just to give you a shot of that. I got the, got the tap gauge clamped in there, so I don't have to hold it with one hand. Just clamp it in there and then screw with the other one and hold the hold the mill steady with the other one. Okay, we're gonna finish that off now. Get the battery back in the charger. Fun, fun, fun. Till mama takes your taps and tools away. Or your coat of chrome or however that goes. Okay, sports fans, we got the holes drilled and tapped. Uh, y axis. That one right there, the lower one, that'll be where the slider will mount. And the end of the rule will be on one end, and the other end of the rule will be on this end. We're making progress here. We're going to mount the rule now and see what that looks like. Whew. I drill on the tap and takes it out of the fellow. I'm about ready for a scotch or two or three or four or more. <laughs> Yeah, these dang projects are really hard on the scotch supply, I'll tell you guys that. Very, 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 very hard on the scotch supply. Right, David? Okay now, ladies and gentlemen, hobos and tramps and you, you cross-eyed mosquitoes and even you bow-legged ants. I got the Y-axis mounted and operational. Right here, got it screwed in. Use a little Loctite on the screws. Everything looks pretty good. We got the readout cracking away there. Let's see, let's set her to zero. Do the zero set trick. Then we'll move it outward here and, and see what we got. There she goes. Yes siree, that's what we want. She ought to go out to about five inches. I don't know if we'll go that far for this little test, but we got her. Okay, one more axis to go. I have to go down and get a piece of angle iron for that one to shield it from the ships. And I'll uh, go do that this afternoon and then I'll do the other axis tomorrow. In the meantime, there you have it. You can see the slider slide on there as she goes along the rule. Which is exactly what we want. Okay, nothing to this, just take your time and 
It'll all come together in the end. It'll all come together in the end. Yes, yeah, it takes a little patience. And like I said before, a lot of scotch. A lot of scotch. This might even call for some single single malt when I get the whole thing done. Some of the good stuff. Okay. And away we go.